Welcome. In front of me is a General Mobile GM8 Go, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on this device. So, if the device is locked, you won't be able to basically progress with the setup of the device as I am right now without actually verifying the previous one that was logged in before the reset. And to bypass this, we will need uh, one thing for certain, uh, the SIM card with some kind of contacts on it that you can use. And uh, let's go back to the first page. So number one, you want to also be connected to network before you start. So on the page where you basically ask you to connect to network, make sure you're connected. And then we can proceed on by tapping on emergency call and then emergency information, tap on it again, and then tap on the pencil and you'll have add contact. So tap on it. And that's basically what we need the SIM card for with contact. So just choose a number that is normal. Um, so it needs to have a normal structure considering if let's say you choose this one with like additional signs for star or hash. Uh, if you choose this one, I will demonstrate it will not allow us to, where is it, to share? Oh, okay. I guess this time it does. Um, previously I tried it and it didn't give me the option to share. So keep in mind that if you don't see the share button, just find a different contact that will, uh, that is, I guess, normal, not like uh, all wonky. So from there, tap on the contact that you added and then three dots and choose share. Then tap on Gmail and just skip this and then add an email address okay, and choose the office one. So right here, we're gonna put in the email address. Now, if you don't have one, go to Microsoft and create one. Um, without it, you won't actually be able to progress um, and Gmail won't really work for this. So let's go to, I'm gonna put in mine, so Yeah, let's tap on next. And you don't really need to actually log into it because what we need to do is now tap on select here, um, tap on OK. And we get to choose a pattern or password, some kind of protection for this device. So just as a reference, the previous, uh, because I like this device, so the previous pattern was basically going like this. Uh, and now I'm gonna choose something else so it's definitely different than, so it's, well, not conflicting. Um, so let's just choose finger and pattern. And I'm just gonna draw something like this. Up on next. Okay, and confirm. Now we don't really need to add a fingerprint, so just tap on skip and skip anyway. And cancel, and we're basically done. So now all you need to do is just Go back to the first page. So spam the back button till you are back here. And now let's go with the setup. And now it gives you verify a pattern. So like I said, previous one was going like this. So now we're gonna go with the new one that we have set. Basically it recognizes the newest pattern that we have insert it and overwrites the old one and you can basically bypass it this way and you can see sign in and it's optional you're basically now fully bypassed so you can just tap on skip skip anyway stop on next uh, skip now once you get to the home screen it is advised to actually perform a hard reset through settings it will remove any kind of leftover from the previous account uh, fully so it will help. Um, and if you would do it through recovery mode, it might lock it again. So do it only from the settings right here. And I'll actually do it just as an example. So as you can see, we're basically unlocked now. There is no Google account, but let's go into the settings and reset options and raise all data, factor reset, reset phone. And uh, you will need to confirm if you have a pattern. So I do like we have set and now tap on erase everything. And the process will start removing all personal data. That includes previous Google account, current Google accounts, and any kind of passcodes, basically everything. 
And once it's done, we should be back in the setup screen and there you can set up the device as however you like. And as you can see now the process is finished and you can set it up. So once more I'm gonna just go through a brief and quick setup of the device without actually adding many of these basically passwords and uh, Google accounts. Uh, as you can see the first thing off is that you can skip the Wi-Fi connection which normally if the device would be still locked you, would be, you wouldn't be able to. The button wouldn't be even there. So let's continue, choose a name, whatever, skip, skip. Um, well, I don't really want to set up any passcodes, so not now. Skip anyway. Just go accept. And we should be almost done. And we're now in the home screen. So. That is basically how you would bypass the Google verific verification screen on the General Mobile GM8 Go. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.